Hello students. In the last uh, video, we started to introduce you to a special product, which is called the difference of two squares. So for example, we had a question uh, 15 plus 1 times 15 minus 1. And it turned out we could actually multiply that. That's 16 times 14. We could actually multiply that by squaring the 15, squaring the 1, and subtracting. So now we'll use algebra to show you why that actually works. So I'm going to ex expand this out using the crab claw method. So I'll change that to plus negative. And we're going to multiply and multiply to get four answers. So a times a is a squared plus a times negative ab is just negative ab or negative 1ab plus b times a, which I'll write as a times b, plus b times negative b, which is negative b squared. Now simplifying that, minus ab plus ab, they cross out. And adding negative b squared is the same as subtracting b squared. So it turns out that expression there can be written as or simplifies to a squared minus b squared. And that's why it's called the difference of two squares. Because we've got the square of the first term minus, which is a difference, the square of the second term. And that's what I used in the previous video. It's a was 12, b was 1. The answer was 12 squared minus 1 squared, or 143. So that's a quick way to multiply anything that fits that pattern just there. So the first term has to be the same, the second term has to be the same, and one's plus and one's minus. The minus could be first, it doesn't matter about the order. And if that's the case, you can write the answer down in just one step. So let's go ahead and apply the shortcut to this one. So I don't need to do the crab claw for this, because I know that what's going to happen is the middle two terms will disappear, and I'm going to end up with just 2y all squared. In fact, I'm going to do this in two steps. But once you get a bit of practice at this, you can do that. Do it in one step. So that's a squared. Think of that as being a and that as being b. So I've got a plus b, a minus b. I have a squared minus b squared. And I need the brackets because I'm squaring all of that, not just the y. And 2 times, oh, sorry, 2 squared is 4. That gives me 4y squared minus, and 3 squared is 9, 9z nine squared. So I can expand that with practice just in one step. I just say square that is 4y squared, square that's 9z squared, write the difference of two squares. Now you could do this the long way, the way we learned before, you'll get exactly the same answer. But what we want you to practice here is do these questions using the difference of two squares. Okay, I'm going to do three of these just for practice, and then I would like you to do the other three. So, this is all of the form a plus b times a minus b. So, in the short form, or I can expand it to be just a squared take b squared. So, I'll do the first one using an extra step of setting out, then I'll do the next two by doing the extra step mentally. So, a is 2x, b is 3, so I've got a plus b, a minus b. That's just going to equal a squared, which is all of 2x squared, minus b squared, which is 9, and that gives me 4x squared take 9. Okay, I might do this one. Now, in this case, I've got the variable second and the number first. That's not a problem. It's still a, and I've got the subtraction first and the addition second. That's not really a problem. That's a plus b, a minus b. I've just written the plus uh, factor first. So I can just go ahead and go 5 times 5 is 25. Minus k times k is k squared. And finally, I'll do this one. Once again, I've got the term that, or sorry, the factor that involves the subtraction first, not a problem, and the subtraction involving the plus second. 
And I'm going to do this in one step. That's a plus b times a minus b. So a is 4m. a squared is 16m squared. b is 5n. So b squared is 25n squared. OK, so you try the remaining three questions. And again, if you wish to, just do them in one step. Okay, let's see how you went on those. So 3p times 3p is 9p squared, and 2 times 2 is 4. So a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. Next one, a is 6, b is 2p, 6 squared is 36, minus 2p times 2p is 4p squared. And the last one, a is 3b, b is 2a. So even though we're using the same letters, it doesn't really matter. Just think of that as being a. So 3b squared is 9b squared minus and 2a squared is 4a squared. So the difference of two squares is easy. So that's why we use it. It just saves a lot of setting out. You can get to the answer quickly. Now, one thing you're going to have to do in a couple of videos is work backwards. If you give it an expression like this, how do you get back to that? And that's where we need to say, well, hold on. This is a square. That's 6 squared. And that's a square. That's 2p in brackets all squared. So working backwards is a little bit harder. So you might want to have a look at these answers and figure out how you might get from that to that, because you will have questions like that um, in a couple of videos. OK, moving on.